we are uh, pleased to uh, have uh, present to us Shizu uh, Hama Hamada, who is co-founder of the Japanese American No Nukes Action Committee. It was formed after the Fukushima Daiichi meltdown disaster to protest uh, dangerous Japanese and U.S. nuclear policies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning. In 1974, I left my life Japan to come to the United States. For over 40 years, I've called Bay Area my home. I live in Berkeley. I love it there. This is a place I met my husband, raised the children. This is a place I made many friends and whom are here now in front of me. But as I stand here today in front of Lawrence Livermore Lab, I cannot help but think about the atrocities that took place in Japan 71 years ago and the path that led to nuclear dependent Japan. In August of 1945, the United States uh, dropped the, uh, two atomic bombs in Japan. Within six months, over 200,000 people were dead. And to this day, over 600,000 people were, uh, have died. To put this in context, more people were killed in Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs than the entire population of Oakland and Berkeley combined. Imagine that horror moment. Everybody you know in Oakland and Berkeley were gone forever. Thousand uh, dead instantly, then shadows cast upon the ruins of the buildings. Even more in hospitals, their skins cracking from burns, they are inside sick from radiation. And the children, their future destroyed like everything else. Japan knows horror. They experience the destructive effect of nuclear weapons, of isotopes and uranium and plutonium and radioactive material. They, of all countries, should understand its catastrophic of effect. Well, Japan is an ironic country. Instead of learning from history, instead of running away from the horror of the August 1945, they have run towards nuclear power, towards a Japan that is dependent on the abomination. Today, nuclear power plants are littered all over Japan, waiting for to be restarted. And the irony doesn't stop there. It was the United States who dropped those bombs on Japan. And today, it is the United States who pushed, pushes for the nuclear Japan. It wasn't enough to kill hundreds of thousands of people. The United States has profited from Japan's nuclear path. And it is Japanese people, once again, who must pay the price. On March 11, 2011, uh, a 9.0 magnitude earthquake and the following tsunami destroyed uh, Fukushima Daiichi plant. And three reactors were melted down. Even five and a half years later, the Japanese people are still paying for this calamity. They finally found the melted core of one of three uh, reactors recently, but still they don't know how to contain or how to retrieve it. 
Nearly 1,000 uh, contaminated water tank are filling up the lot of the Daiichi facility lot. And the ice wall, they spend so much money, is not entirely blocking the contaminated water which seeps into the ocean. The thyroid cancer among the children are increasing. Now over, over 170 uh, children having the cancer or suspected to have it. The Japanese government is declaring some areas are safe so that the uh, government is forcing the people to go back so that compensations uh, can be cut. But it's very clear that uh, area is not uh, safe and may never be. President Obama visited Hiroshima last May as a tribute uh, to atomic bomb victims, but he didn't offer any apology. He called for a world free of nuclear weapons, but he, but he leads a country that spent to create even more nuclear warheads. Did his visit make this world one step close to the nuclear disarmament? No. In fact, his visit strengthened the tie with Abe government which is pushing Japan towards militarism. Abe's government, governing party and allies took two-thirds of upper house uh, seat after the last July's election, after Obama's visit. Prime Minister Abe is sending hundreds of special military to Takae in Okinawa to suppress the protesters against building the USA helicopter pad and to Haneko against building a new base. The alliance between the Obama and the Abe administration is not about peace. It is about power. We should not be fooled. Like many Japanese citizens, yes, I have learned that we cannot coexist with nuclear plant. But the Abe government will never give up nuclear energy, and they are pushing to restart even more plant. The government is crushing the majority of Japanese people's voices against militarism and then against nuclear energy. Why? Because our government wants Japan to st uh, step forward to a military country like the USA and want to make nuclear weapons in the near future. Japan need to operate a nuclear plant in order to enrich uranium and plutonium. As I stand here today, I can feel the spirit of Hiroshima, Nagasaki, the Marshall Island, and the Fukushima. They are here with us today, right now. They are watching us, and they are encouraging us to fight. What we do here, today, and in the future matters. The past must be remembered. The catastrophes of history must not be forgotten. On this day and every day, we fight for a world without nuclear weapons and nuclear energy. Thank you.